Before the video begins, I just want to say thank you to all the new people who have subbed to the channel recently. And um, if you can leave game suggestions down in the comments for uh, potential videos or just a new series. Um, I've been thinking about doing Sniper Elite 4 because Sniper Elite 5 is right on the corner. And I've never played it before. And I've always kind of wanted to play it. So, And also, I do know what Abaddon was selling. I looked back at a some previous footage I have and I found out what he actually was selling. I think yeah, it was the adhesive warrior bow, um, the, the ice storm bolt blaster, and the uh, thunderbolt shredder gauntlet. And it was the also the awesome striker for uh, armor. And I got all those. So I don't got to worry about waiting for that to upgrade them to the max. And uh, yeah, back to the video. All right. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. Today we got a bit of a dumb episode, in my sense. We're gonna uh, go around and buy every single weapon and armor we can in the game, we can find. And then the dumb part is, we're going to upgrade it to the max. That's the dumb part. I'm gonna be wasting a ton of shards, I have 41,000 collected already. And we're just gonna go around and buy every single armor and weapon we can, and upgrade it to the max. And I have a quite a bit so far, just from what I've collected from when I played through the game. But I didn't buy a whole lot of outfits. But I do have all the legendary stuff. Everything that's legendary has been upgraded to the max. So we got to worry about spending like five thousand for weapon and armor. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start here because you don't gotta spend shards on these ones. But I'm gonna start buying all the armor and weapons, which is gonna take forever to upgrade them. But I'll show you how. I figured out a few ways to um, make the grind a little bit easier on the parts anyways. Alright, I don't care about equipping. So we're going to buy that. We're going to buy this. We're going to buy this. We're going to buy that. So that's all of those. All of that. Don't really care. Okay, so we got everything. Good luck right. on the hunt. And I'm going to go around and collect every one I can find. And uh, I'll be back with you all when I get all of them. Well, that I could find anyways, and if I miss any, uh, let me know. Let me know down below if I missed any. But yeah, that's what we're gonna go do. All right. Well, I made it all over here to uh, what's this place called? Yeah, Scalding Spear. I made it all over here, and we used all forty-one thousand pretty much on armor and weapons. So I acquired a lot more that we gotta go through to upgrade to the max. So I'm not even done yet. There's still more weapons to collect, which means it's a lot more green ones. I think I got all the blue ones, except for like maybe a handful. And then I got all these armors to go through. Yeah, that's going to take forever. That's a dumb idea, but we're going to do it anyways. So hopefully y'all support me on this on this adventure and hit that subscribe button, because this is going to really suck. But we're going to do it anyways, because why not? It's kind of a dumb video, kind of a dumb idea. But it's going to take hours for me, but maybe just a few minutes for you to see all of it. But we will do it. It will be complete 100%. And uh, yeah, I'll go farm some uh, Tremor Tusk. And uh, I'll show you how that works when I get there. And uh, yeah. Okay, so the way I farm shards is I start here at this little fire uh, campfire. I kill this Tremor Tusk. And then I go. And then I fast travel to this campfire and kill this one. I find the fast travel between the campfires is a lot faster than uh, spawning here, flying up, killing both of them, and then using a fast travel pack to come back down, fly back up, because I don't want to waste my um, fast travel packs, because I don't have a whole lot of wild meat to um, make more, so I just find it a lot easier to not waste you know, because then you gotta grind animal f and all that stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna run around in the forest killing small little animals for wild meat just to make more fast travel packs when I can just um, spawn its way in the campfires. Because that's a lot faster. Spawn here, kill this one. Come down here, fast travel here, kill this one. And then fast travel back and kill it. And then rinse and repeat. And uh, this is the setup I'm using. I'm using uh, mostly it's um, the Forge Fall. You hit it once, and then you sometimes you follow up with this one, or you just hit it twice with this, and it kills it in two shots. And uh, you'll see in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the Forge Fall. Run up here. This is the longest run of the whole thing, but I'll show you how you can make it go faster. 
Oh, sorry, I need to change the day because these are Apex ones, so it takes longer to kill them. But you shoot their sack like that. But since these are Apex ones, you can't kill them in two shots. And then you just shoot off their guns. Alright, well. Yep. And that's how you kill them. But I can kill a lot fast. The regular ones you can kill in two shots. And I'll show you that once I uh, loot them. And then to maximize the distance, you call your little dude. Picks you up. And then you can just fly to it. So. This is probably the longest part of the whole entire thing. You can probably get around like 30, 40k in an hour if you're fast enough. And then you just fast travel over here to this one. And then I'll show you how to kill that one in two. But let me go over here to um, this spot so we can fast travel to um, press time to make it daytime. So I can actually kill them in two shots and not actually like have to do four shots because that really gets annoying. Especially when you just want their tusks. That's all you need is their tusks. But also the um, the large, um, what do you ever call them? Yeah, so you want them for their tusks because four of these is more expensive than two fangs. And four of these is more expensive than one of the uh, tails of the Thunderjaw. So that's why killing these are a lot better. Because I used to kill these, but then I realized after a while um, that two of these do not be more expensive than four of these. But two of these are better than uh, the tails of the Thunderjaw. But yeah, these... Killing these gets you a large machine core, and so you could sell a lot of these also at the end. So you get a lot of money from these, the, the tusks, and then obviously their primary nerves and their uh, circulators. That's why killing these are a lot better than killing the thunder jaw and all that stuff. So let me go over here, and we'll kill this one in about in two shots. And uh, sometimes it's just one shot, depending on if you want them to burn or not. Burning kind of takes time, so but here I'll show you. Shoot him in the sack. And then he's dead. That's it. You don't gotta have to try to like go pick up the gun and then shoot him while he tries to attack. Yeah, it's all too long. I just gotta shoot him twice, get the volatile sludge, and then remake the arrows. So, because you get more sludge, so you don't really like, since there's only, you know, two arrows. You know, that's a lot of, you have 15 to go through, and that's about like 6 or 7, so then you get all your sludge back anyway, so that's not a huge deal. Run over here, and then you fast travel back to this one, kill it, rinse and repeat, and then you, that's how you get your money. And I'm going to do this for a while, get all the money back, so we can then um, buy the rest of the weapons and armor, and then begin upgrading. Which we'll also need shards for, which also sucks, so I'm going to be doing this for a, a few hours of my life and you'll be able to see it in a few minutes but i'm going to be doing this for a long time so i'll be back when i'm finished oh yeah and and one thing i forgot to mention um to make this go by faster i'm on custom and story because that takes way too long to um <laughs> try to try to kill these things fast as possible when you're on just straight normal or whatever so yeah, to maximize all this stuff because you're, you're just wanting shards and who needs to um, waste so much time just trying to kill them to begin with. So just make it a custom story for both of them just to kill them faster because at this point in time we already beat the game. We've done everything. We literally completed um, we're all the way to, we're to 99.8 uh, completion and all we need is the, pretty much the one uh, stupid scrounge that's not in the game. And then yeah. So there's no point in having it on normal anymore. Because you're just trying to grind out the shards, so we don't really care. I beat the whole game on normal. I did everything. Even farming for some of the parts to begin with was kind of stupid, but you know, whatever. So yeah. Alright, we're closing in on number 200. Well, 200 tusks anyways. So yeah, so once we kill this one anyways. It's going to be number 200. And then we're going to go sell it, see how much we get, so we can buy the rest of the stupid weapons and armor. This is a dumb video idea I have. Alright, click. Shoot that. And then... Pow! Okay. Of course. I missed the last one. Yeet. Okay. 
let's pretend that was a two shot. We'll just pretend. Yeah, yeah, we totally killed it in two shots. Like I killed the other forty or whatever. Two hundred, yay! We got two hundred. I'm not gonna sell all of them. I'm probably like keep twenty, so we'll keep we'll sell one eighty. So two hundred is a lie, but we'll go over to Runda. I think is who this is, but we'll go over here, sell these bad boys, and sell it. any other useless. Shut up, and sell every any other useless crap we have. Bro, already there's no there's nothing there. I already got it. She's talking about that black box in there, which is kind of stupid, but she went, whatever. Hello, Runda. Time to sell this crap. Okay, we'll start with coils first. Anything? Usually the ones that are like 8 plus, I'll sell. Uh, but keep 5 of them. So we'll keep 5, sell, you know. Just so it's, um, you know. Because you could use multiple of them. You don't have to use all of them. So I like to keep 5 just in case. We can, we got anything interesting to use? Okay, got no more. Okay, resources. Scroll all the way down here through all the crap I have. Ah, oh, yes, 200. 200 is like 17,000, dog. Oh, got a ton. But we're going to save about 20 of them. Yeah, look at that. Instant 19,000. Okay, what else we got that we could sell that we have of useless crap? Um, what else do we just sell? Oh yeah, we have, we sell these. We'll keep about a hundred, hundred and eighty, I think, is what we kept. We're gonna be here a while, but yeah, hundred eighty, I think, is a good number. And I'll keep a hundred. No, we'll, yeah, we'll keep hundred eighty, just in case, because I don't know how many, you know, because it takes. The, okay, five k. That's that's perfect. Okay, hundred eighty. And then we gotta sell. Oh yeah, look at all these. We have a hundred and nine primary nerves. I think thirty was my number. We'll keep thirty of them. Keep thirty of those. And then circulators. We shouldn't have a ton of them because yeah, they don't give a whole lot. We have a ton of braided wire. I have twelve k of that. It'll sell some bread. It's very common. You get a ton of it. Okay, we're gonna be here a while for this. You can't. Yeah, you can't. That's so stupid. Yeah, forget it. We're not. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're not gonna do any of that garbage. If there's a trick, let me know. But yeah, who cares? All right, we have 31k. Let's go collect the rest of this garbage. Alright, so I'm gonna go do that, and I'll be back when I actually, I think, collect all the weapons and armor I can find. I think I found all the weapons. I've been to every single place I can think of having an, uh, a hunter person thingy. Yeah, hunter. So I've been to literally every single one of them that I could possibly find, even went to these ones, the hunting grounds. So I know they have dudes that sell weapons and stuff, so I think I've, I think I've got them all. Oh, except for uh, Apodunt. Because he's glitched. And I, I can't speak to him anymore. I don't know what happened with that. But he will not allow me to talk to him. So I can't even like, sell things to him. But right, So I started here. Did these ones. And I went over here. Did this. And then I found. And I just kept going through all of this. Up through here. Went back down. Came back like this. Went back up. Yeah. That, that's perfect. That, yeah. That's what we did. So I got them all. You. I think. And there's a ton of them. Yep, there is 76 more to go. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, technically, well, technically it's not 76 because there's four of them that use green shine. And I'm not going to be doing any of that, but we have to do all of these. Yeah, okay, there we go. That ends. Bam, right there. Yeah, some of them have a green shine. So I'm not going to do those. The ones with green shine, we're just going to just not deal with, so... So yeah, I'm going to, um, yeah, like this one. This one has green shine. We're not going to upgrade this because I don't want to waste my green shine on this stupid piece of trash. Green, you know? Because when there's DLC or anything like that, I want to have all the green. Oh my god, it's already one thing I already got to go grind is leap lashers. That sucks. So yeah, that's what we're going to get. I'm just going to start upgrading to the max. 
and uh, I'll let you know when I hit a brick wall. Oh, I also got all the armor I could find. And we're not gonna sell. I'm not gonna sell it. I only got two greens. That was useless. But I thought there was more green armor than that. At least we're not, hey, we're not doing this one. Stupid green shot. That's good though. All right. Well, I'm gonna start upgrading, and uh, I'll let you know when I'm close to finished. Okay, so I have upgraded everything I could to the max. So these nine weapons are these ones, and they're all green shine. And then these ones are green shine as well. So I pretty much have upgraded everything I can. So now I have to go farm parts. I think a lot of the beginning ones, I do need a lot of small machine cores and sky drifters, but... That's all boring. Those are just one-shot machines, you know, nothing like big or scary. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go get those. Oh, we didn't use all our. Oh, we still have fourteen thousand shards. That's cool. All right, I am pretty sure I got the last leap lasher coil needed for all these upgrades. I mean, I did some small upgrades um, before as well. Because I, I got Leaf Lasher Coil, so I just went ahead and did them. And I think it goes on one of the blue ones, I think. That I already have. I think it's one of these. Yeah, there it is. Bam! Lap, last Leaf Lasher. Now I gotta farm a bunch of the small coils. Or what did you call them? Yeah, the small machine core. I need a lot of those. Because everything needs the small machine core. Everything. And I don't have that. So we're going to go farm those. Which I think I know how to get those the easiest. But I don't know. I'm going to do a little bit of research. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of research on the easiest way to get those. And we're going to go farm those. Okay, I now found out that you can, or technically, I just just wanted to see what happens, but you know, you can actually buy small machine cores at these dudes, and I did not know that, so I went around, you need anything else? yeah, I don't need anything else from you, so I went around and I went to the previous ones, which is here, 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 and then I don't think there's another one. No. Okay, so I went to all the contractors before this guy. And I got all the small machine cores. That's why I have like 40 of them. Yeah, 46. So, um, I'm going to go upgrade all of these. Because each, every single one of them needs four of these suckers. I had like, you know, I don't know. Quite a bit to go through just to get all of them. So, that's what we did. So I just bought them all. Okay, it's the end of the line for that. Say, so, oh, not gonna do those. Those green shine. I'm not gonna spend green shine. It's just a waste. So yeah. And once we get this, the rest of this stuff is very easy to get. Just the small machine cores, because you don't get them every single time you kill one of them. That's why it's just so annoying. Because I've never had many to begin with, because I don't, I never did kill many small machines. I'm more of like a big machine kind of guy. Plus I don't have a lot of medium ones anymore. I spent all of them. But getting medium stuff ain't that hard either. Because the the drop rate for them suckers is is a lot higher. It's like 20%. Not 20, like maybe like 30-40% for a medium. And then every big one you kill you get like two or three large ones instantaneous that's not that big of a deal please tell me i have enough if i don't i'm gonna really want to punch a hole in the wall but i think i got enough i think all of these what i had left and maybe one weapon but we'll see Oh god, I don't have, oh that's green shine, don't want to spend that one. That's green shine, and green shine. I think I got them all. 
all of them that needed it, I think. Alright, we'll probably start off killing more of the sunburn, sunwing things, because you get two of the shield things per one to kill, so you can kill like three of them and get like all of it, so. And then bellow backs. Oh yeah, that's be easy. Alright, well, I'll be back when I have more stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop in and uh, show the progress I've made. These ones, I think, are all green shine. Yep, so it doesn't really matter about these ones. Yeah, because I'm not using green shine because that's just a waste. Oh yeah, so then we got these ones to go, which that ain't a whole lot. And then we have all of these are green shine. This whole batch is green shine, so we don't gotta worry about that. Because they're not upgraded one single time. If they are, then it was just like, you know, the metal shards and branded wire as like the first upgrade. Which I think was, yeah, for these ones. Maybe we don't need, yeah, I'm not wasting my green shine on weapons I don't care about. And so we have the rest of these. A lot of them require Tide Ripper fins and stuff like that. But I'm actually very close. So, and then Showwalker stuff and Clamberjaw hearts and stuff like that. So it's actually not that bad. I'll let you know what it looks like when I get even closer. So, we're getting there. Almost. Alright, we got an update on for you on my progress. And I'm almost done with all the weapons. That that don't require green shine because I ain't doing that garbage. Like so I don't want to waste them for possibly a DLC that comes out that might actually need green shine for something important. So I'm not gonna use my green shine. So I'm just gonna save it. So I got a, a decent amount of it, but I, you never know. So so all we need now for the rest of the weapons is three Stormbird cannons, and he's up there. So we gotta go over there to kill him. So we need three of those for weapons, but we're gonna need a lot more Stormbird cannons for the rest of the armor that we have so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these three finish out the weapons and continue finishing out the armor and I'll let you know when I am I think complete or almost getting close to being finished um, getting all the parts to fully upgrade them. I think I'm good on uh, money though or shards I think I have enough shards I think 5700 is good enough to get me to the finish line and uh, yeah I'll see you when I'm finished in a few seconds. All right, we're almost finished. I just sold a bunch of stuff to get more shards, so I'm at almost about 7,000, which is more than enough to upgrade these last two uh, armor or outfits or what do you want to call them. So I got the Tanakh, uh Recon. Okay, finished that one. And then the Right Singer. I think how you say that this is the last one. That requires parts that aren't green shine. So every single one. There we go. Bam! Last one. Let's go. Okay. So all these other ones you see here are um, green shine. Some of them have like the small machine parts, but who cares about those? But yeah. Green shine on all of these ones. I'm also just double checking just to make sure I didn't miss anything as well. So yeah, all of them require green shine, and I'm not gonna waste my green shine on trashy weapons. I've said this before earlier in the video, but you know, might as well say it again anyways. But it's all of them, every weapon I could find, and these are all the outfits. So that one is green shine, green shine, green shine, yep, and green shine. So that's all the outfits complete, fully upgraded that I could find. And if I missed one, uh, let me know. These are all of them. Sentinel, okay. You got the uh, rare ones. I'll show you how, like the best methods I use to farm some of the um, parts because they get very repetitive in the end, anyways. So, I think this is Varls, I think. That's what this one is. I saw a video on it, so I'm pretty sure it's Varls. Got it. And then that should be, yep, they got all the rare ones. 
Then here are all the green shine ones. And then the one I'm wearing is this one. Okay. So most of the parts that you're probably going to need for this. Um, for the armor anyways. If you ever think you're going to want to do what I just did. And upgrade every single one of them. You're going to need a lot of stalkers. So you just, I just spawn here. Kill this one. But technically when you want to farm ones to not use your... Um, your uh, packs, your trap, like fast travel packs, um, do them in groups of two. So like you'd fast travel here, kill this one. Then I'd fast travel over here, kill the slither fang, because you need both of them for parts. And then you come to this campfire, you come back to it, and then you like fast travel over here, kill the shell snapper or something, and then you go back to the campfire and fast travel somewhere else, and just rinse and repeat. So when I would have to need a lot of tide rippers, I'd spawn here. Go up on the cliffside here, uh, glide down, hit the beach, kill it, go back to the campfire by flying. So I would spawn in my um, my Sunwing, hop on him, fly to the campfire back. Because it's kind of a far distance to run, so I might as well just fly it anyways. Fly back to the campfire, fast travel. And sometimes I fast travel over here because over here there's a bat, one of the um, dread wings or whatever they're called. Because you need them for parts, you need them for their fangs. So you just uh, spawn here. Kill him. Kill the Watcher, because there's a few Watchers here. And then get back to the campfire. And then I'd spawn back at this campfire over here. And then go back and forth. And that's my route for killing the those two machines. And then the Fire Claws, they absolutely suck. Because you have to need them for your Legendary Armor and your Legendary Weapons. So I'd spawn here, kill it. And then I would fast travel over here, kill it from these two campfires. I just rinse and repeat. I think I eventually swapped to this campfire. So I'd spawn here, kill it, run back, spawn, fast travel from there to this one, and then rinse and repeat from these two campfires so I don't waste my um, fast travel packs because those are kind of, I don't know, grindy to get because you have to grind the wild meat and that's really annoying. So, and you don't have to, because then once you do that, you have to buy them or whatever. I'm like, that's just a more waste to, of a grind for more shards and stuff and then uh you've already seen my tremor tusk one spawn here kill it go back um call on the sunwing jump on him as soon as you kill him fly there back to the campfire fast travel and then i would go over to this one and then kill it come back and then go down and then eventually you need to kill scorchers as well you need a lot of their ears for the armor if you're ever going to want to repeat this um you spawn here kill them Run back, fast travel. Had a small interruption to kill these scorchers. So you'd obviously be here because you'd fast travel here, kill this machine, and then you'd run down here and then shoot. You could shoot a frost one at it if you have um, the forge fall. So you shoot a frost one with the sun scorch. So you'd shoot a frost one with this one. It'll instantly freeze it and then you can blast it with the force fall and basically two shot the thing so basically you don't have to fight it on custom story you know so that's like the that's the difficulty and that's what i have mindset on because when you farm this stuff you want to have it on the easiest possible setting because you don't want to sit here and fight this thing for three minutes when you just need their ears so so that's how you get two shot these things sometimes there's two of them here you'll there's a legendary or not legendary one but there's um there's an apex one shoot with a frost shoot it with the um the forge fire and then you shoot the other one with the frost from the sun scourge and then you'd, you'd also shoot that one with the um the forge fall i think is what's called and then you'll kill those in two shot call your sun wing fly back here and then you could just fast travel to any other location that you need to farm parts so i use this thunder jaw and this one over here so i fast travel here kill this one go back to the campfire fast travel and then go here, kill it, go back, and then rinse and repeat so you get all the tails. Because you need quite a bit of tails. And then if I was going to farm Slither Fangs, I would spawn here, run, kill it, come back. And then I would farm these two back and forth. So, And you always run back to the campfire so you don't waste your um, fast travel packs. Because those things can get annoying when you run out of meat or then you have to go buy them. And then that is like adds to another grind which then leads back to grinding these uh tremor tusks for their tusk which takes forever well actually well it takes forever just kind of annoying so you can probably get around 30k in an hour 
is by farming their tusks and you don't get 30k like solely from their tusks but you get them from uh mostly the large machine cores so you sell these for like i don't know 18 19k when you have like 200 of them or something like that and then and you come down here and then you sell the rest of the, and I don't sell all of them. I keep about 180. So that means that you end up selling around maybe 120, 130 of them. Because you should have around maybe 300 if RNG is in your favor. And then I would farm the behemoth convoys. Usually sometimes there's two of them in this area. But sometimes the one ends up traveling down here. But one of them has an apex one. And I think it's this one. The one that travels in between this campfire and this down here. That one has the apex behemoth in it. Automatically spawn. Every single time I've gone there, it's been an apex. I'm pretty sure. Nine times out of ten. And then this one I don't think has the apex one. Period. Unless it's at night. And this one roams like this area over here. So and you just farm those ones. And then the shell snappers, obviously, I think I've talked about before already. Is right here. And then the small machine cores. I think I said that earlier in the video. But if you need five of them badly, you can just run around to each of the salvage contractors and buy the five that they sell. They sell five of them. And the five only. Because I went back later and tried to find if they restock them. They didn't. So you get five from each of them. And sometimes you don't have to you spawn here if you want more of them. Leaf flashes also help because like that the big pods that you can just... I think this one has the pods that they drop or whatever when you kill them. So there's like a big pile here, big pile here. So you can spawn here, kill these. You could run over here, kill these. And I think when you run back, they also respawn here before you have to even like fast travel. So then you can, I think rinse and repeat that. But sometimes, sometimes these ones don't respawn, but these ones do. And so sometimes you can uh, link with the Leaf Lasher convoy. So sometimes you can kill these, kill these, go back, kill these. And if you come back this way and these ones aren't respawn, just go down here, kill these from the convoy, and then rinse and repeat. But they do take forever to drop the small machine cores. They really do. And then I eventually stopped that grind, and then I would just grind this one. I would fast shovel here, um, kill these, run here, kill these, and then fast shovel back, kill them run kill these and then just rinse and repeat these until i got enough and then i decided it was a genius idea to just see if they sell them which they only sell them for shards you don't have to like trade them with anything it's just 75 shards or some trash so that's also a very annoying grind and then this is the best spot for shell walker site or for shell walkers there's three of them that spawn here because you need them for like your their shield fist thingy and with the um the forge fall yeah, with the force fall, you could just one shot them, just like aim for their eyeball or whatever, and it's just a one shot at max power overdraw or whatever it's called. It's just a one shot, easy. Just blast them three times, and then the frost claw, my, the farm I did, I would spawn here, run here, kill it, and then fast travel from here to here, and then just rinse and repeat that. But if you don't, if that's only for farming frost claws themselves. But if you're not doing that, you could obviously just spawn here, kill it, go here, and then go somewhere else, kill that one, and then go back. So sometimes I would spawn here, kill it, go back to this campfire, fast shovel over to this one, kill these for the apex hearts, because you need apex snap malls for most weapons. And then you go back, and then you just rinse and repeat that if you felt like it. So that's another route I did. Um, you're going to need roller backs, you're going to need their tails, so I'd spawn here, run here. Take the forge fall, overdraw it, shoot it at their um, little blue compressor thing on their back. And sometimes it will, I'll just show you. That's, I feel like that's better. I'll use my fast travel pack. Sometimes it blows off their tail. So then you can get two tails in one if you shoot it look around more before I and get lucky. See what else I can so I'll show you what that looks like just because it's easier to show what their um, what their backs look like. The villains are pretty self-explanatory when you go to kill them yeah they're like their engine core or their engine thing or whatever take your forge fall if it will stop moving okay so you could just overdraw on it if you don't miss i'll show you on the other one they shoot that and then sometimes their tail will fall off 
Yeah, like his tail fell off. So you get one tail. In the bottom, you see it. And then you can go and roll and loot him, and you'll get a second one. Sometimes. That doesn't always happen. And then you loot the rest of them. Because you need the circulator, too. I think you need, like, two or three of them. So, and they don't always drop. So. And then you can go over here to this one. And do the same if you don't suck like I do and miss first try. This one's an apex one, so this one might take two shots. But then you can just shoot that. Okay, I got a crit, so I didn't have to do it. And it dropped its tail. Huh, got lucky. Usually it doesn't drop both of them when you kill both of them. I never actually usually got two tails from them. So yeah, I went from 6 to 10 because that's 4. So yeah. And that's how you kill those. That's very, very easy. And then I'd hop on my Sunwing. And then I would go back up to the, the campfire up here. At this outpost, whatever it's called. The Runner's Wild. I'd go over here and then use this campfire to fast travel out of here. And then I think that covers most of the machines that you have to farm. Oh, and wide malls, that's right. You need a few of the wide mall thingies. So I just used this one because it was closest to the campfire. So it's just least distance. And you could just run back and forth if you ever need like their things. Oh, and then also speaking of those coils, you need a rock breaker. Which it has two flame pouches on its stomach underneath that you could see from when it's just laying on top of the sand. You can just shoot those with the forge fall. You can almost pretty much just one hit it with the forge fall if you hit the crit. Sometimes if it it might take two if it's an apex, but I just spawn here, kill it, and then go back, and then spawn here, kill it, go back, and then rinse and repeat that. But most things you can one shot if uh, if it's low enough. I think the traumatizer you could two shot pretty much. I think most of the big ones you could two shot if you um. Sometimes get lucky, but most times you don't need to get lucky to two shot them. This one you need to like three shot because you just need to shoot two of the bolts and then it dies. Um, tremor, tremor tusk, you can shoot them twice. You just got to shoot their fire sack on their stomach, then shoot one of their guns. Kills them instantaneously. Uh, thunder jaw, I shoot them with the frost, and then I shoot them a few times with the forge fall. That kills them in like three shots. Uh, Slither Fang, you just need to shoot them like two or three times. You don't need to use Frost or anything, just shoot them straight up, and it should kill them in like three shots. Sometimes, last if you get lucky on a crit. Um, you need Bellowbacks, I think, as well. If you spawn here, there's like a million, um, million Grazers, but you don't need to kill any of them unless you're looking for the small cores. But there's a lot of them, usually here. You usually have like, yeah, yeah, you have like a pack of like seven here. And then you have the like, three bellowbacks, which you can just kill those for their circulators. And you also need their sacks. So if you're on easy and you have the forge fall, the best way, I just shoot them in their eyeballs. Shoot them in their eyes, it kills them almost in like one shot or two shot. So it's not that big of a deal. You get three there, and then I use this site for the bat, mostly. I'd use this site, I'd spawn here, kill it. With uh, you pretty much two shot with the forge fall if you hit its like, stomach when it's hanging upside down. And then I would rinse and repeat that with this. Because there's one that spawns here as well. As soon as you spawn in, it's like already like trying to shoot at you pretty much. And then I couldn't get Abaddon's... Um, I couldn't get him to speak to me anymore. So he has weapons, I think, that I can't get because I can't talk to him anymore. But yeah, the, the fire claws are annoying. I've already gone over that. Them suckers are annoying. But yeah, I think... And then I would sometimes, if I needed a lot of stalkers, I would spawn here... Kill the two because like they're on the side of the building or some trash. Kill both of them, and then rinse and repeat it with the other stalker one. But I'd prefer not going to that one over there because you can't see them as easy. But this one you could just spawn here, and then just shoot all three of them as they come in. I'll show you what not to do here as well, because I've gotten stuck. There's a place you get stuck here, and it's on a tree that's invisible. But it's there, and I didn't know that because I thought it was just a place to hide, but I'll show you. And I'll show you how to kill them because they're literally on the posts, which I didn't know they actually hid there, but they actually hide on the side of the tree. Really coming down. So there they are. There's one, and then you shoot him. Kill him instantaneously. You notice this tree is about to pop in. 
Boom, tree. I got stuck there once. And this one comes in here. Kill it. You run over here. And it's over here at this one. So you just kill them. That's how you farm the, the apex hearts and their generators. If you don't accidentally shoot them off. So this one's right next to it. So that's how you farm them. And you call your bird. Your sunwing. And you fly over back to the lowland place or whatever it's called. And that's how you farm them. So that's very simple. And then very very easy to do and I think now that might be it if you have any like questions or whatever about like how there's some things I did you can uh, leave in the comments and I'll try to leave the, the best answer I can but I think I covered everything but oh and you get you get glitched sometimes also right there which sucks oh claw striders I forget also but right here you get apex ones but also, you don't really need to go to a second spot because the amount of frost claws you need to farm. There's two of them that spawn here as well, so you just gotta kill them. And that's you know you get your frost claw and you get two apex ones as well right here. So that's not that big of a deal. So that's so you don't really need to go to a second spot to kill the claw striders, the apex or whatever, because they spawn right there. So that's not that big of a deal. And this one's also another good site because sometimes uh, raiders kill it like for you and then you just gotta shoot them in the head with your forge fall and it, or your death seeker and it kills them instantaneously unless they have a helmet on and then you gotta shoot their mask off and then hit them in the head afterwards and two shot them which that's how you pretty much you get all the parts because they already looted the thing so all the parts of that thunder jaw are going to be on the bodies of the dudes you kill and I think that is officially it because you don't need bristlebacks you don't need glint hawks or anything like that yet it's you just need the big stuff. And I think that's everything. And uh, yeah. This was a pain to do. I don't know why I chose to do this. But this is everything. Every weapon. Right there. That I could find. I think Abaddon has more. But I don't know. Because I can't talk to him anymore. But I think that's everything. So yeah. If y'all could like and subscribe just for the pain I've went through. And that would be really nice. But you know. That's it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.